All right. Today we're going to be looking at a one of the one of the very important properties of the real number line, which is density of Q and R. Um, and this theorem basically states that given any two real number, we can always find the rational number that is strictly between the two real numbers. So the statement goes like this: For every two real numbers a and b with a less than b, there exists a rational number r satisfying r between the open interval a through b. So recall that the rational number is simply just a quotient of two integers where m and n in the integer. The idea of this proof is to choose those two integers m and n such that um, we'll say this is a and this is b so that we have we have a rational number m over n sitting in in between those two numbers so the first idea is to choose n large enough so that the consecutive increments of 1 over n is eventually going to enter the interval a through b so this is 1 over n, 2 over n, 3 over n, 4 over n, and so on and so on until m minus 1 over n. And the next one is going to be m over n, which is going to step inside. All right. So the proof goes like this. Choose n in the natural number large enough so that 1 over n is less than b minus a. B minus a. So we're going to choose n large enough so that the each increment of 1 over n is going to be less than the distance between the two real numbers we are given. And this is possible to choose because by the Archimedean property, given a real number that is greater than 0, there exists a natural number n such that 1 over n is going to be less than that real number. And recall that um, our assumption was that a was less than b, so b minus a is going to be greater than 0. So our choice of n is justified. The inequality we want to essentially prove is that a less than m over n less than b. Well, this is the same thing as saying n a is less than m and m is less than n b by just multiplying each side by n. So now our choice is to choose m and z to be the smallest possible integer greater than n a so this yields a consequence of m minus a m minus 1 being less than or equal to n a and n a being smaller than m so if you think about this we we are choosing m to be the smallest integer that is greater than n a what that means this m minus a, uh, I mean, sorry, m minus 1 is not going to be greater than n a. So m minus 1 has to be less than or equal to n a. And this is the important choice of our m, which is going to um, help us in our proof. So notice that immediately our first half of the proof is done here. This inequality implies that a is less than m over n. But what about the other half? Consider this part of the inequality, this left hand. We know that m minus 1 over n a, this is basically saying that m is less than or equal to n a plus 1. Ah, then let's look at this inequality where we chose n to be 1 over n less than b minus a. If we just with simple algebraic manipulations, we get a less than b minus 1 over n. So let's apply this here, down here. We know that then n a plus 1 is going to be less than n b minus 1 over n plus 1, which is simply n b minus 1 plus 1, and simplifies to n b. So this whole expression implies, so we have m less than n b but this simply just means that m over n is less than b all right that's the end of our proof
putting together our choice of mn yields a less than n over n and b. And that's the end of our proof. Given a two arbitrary real number a and b, we were able to produce a rational number r, which in this case was m over n, that is strictly between the two real numbers. And that's it. That's the density of Q and R theorem.